Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss equivalent circuit of equivalent circuit analysis of induction motor. Up to now, we discussed some important uh, topics regarding the three phase induction motor. Now, we will entering into the equivalent circuit analysis. So, before entering into the equivalent circuit analysis, just we should compare with the transformer transformer with induction motor then the equivalent circuit analysis will become very easy here look at here the comparison here the no load current of induction motor is more than the no load current of the transformer due to the presence of air gap because so here for example this is the stator point this is the rotor point here we have the air gap so in the air gap the flux is transferred from stator to rotor we should require more no load current we should require so for the flux the reason is the magnetizing current magnetizing current is produced from the no load current so it require more no load current here in case of transformer we have core is available there is no air gap there is no air gap so that's why it require less current so this require less current less magnetizing current and less no load current only the reason is the air gap doesn't have any air gap the flux is travel only from the core itself here the flux equal mmf for reluctance MMF for reluctance. MMF equal number of turns into magnetizing current for reluctance. Whenever the magnetizing current increases, the flux value increases. Okay, flux value increases. So this is the major difference between the transformer and the induction motor. Major difference between the transformer and the induction motor. Next. Again, we should discuss some points about this. Here, the magnetizing current of the transform transformer is 4 to 6 percent of full load current. So, the magnetizing current in the transformer is nothing but 4 to 6 percent of the full load current. So, it will take in the full load current 4 to 6 percent. The in the induction motor here. The magnetizing current is very very high that is 25 to 35 percent of full load current so it required 25 to 35 percent but here only 4 to 6 percent reason is the only air gap the second point the load current will be 1 to 2 percent of the full load current so it will have very less load current the load current will be 1 to 2 percent only it will take 1 to load 2 percent of the full load current here for second point here the load current will be 5 percent of the full load current 5 percent of the full load current so it, it in order to work the transformer properly just it required the load current is only 1 to 2 percent it required the load current is the 5 percent next the magnetizing current 3 to 4 times of the load current just look at here yeah the relation between the magnetizing current and load current this is 3 times increases so we can before that just we go for the no load current the no load current is 5 to 8 percent of the full load current so 5 to 8 percent of the full load current yeah 5 to 8 percent of the full load current what about in the induction motor in the induction motor itself it requires the no load current is 30 to 40 percent 30 to 40 percent of full load current yeah every time 
the no load current and full load current of induction motor is increases induction motor is increases next fourth one fourth point here we can give the relation between magnetizing current and the load current the relation is the magnetizing current will be approximately equal to 3 to 4 times of load current 3 to 4 times of load current what about here here also the magnetizing current will be equal to 5 to 7 times of load current 5 to 7 times of load current so more than load current full load more than load current magnetizing current will be high here magnetizing high current will be high here next point here the no load power factor if the transformer is operating on the no load condition the no load power factor is power factor angle is phi naught equal to generally it is approximately 70 to 75 degrees therefore the power factor value cos phi naught will be equal to 0 0.2 lagging power factor what about here here no load power factor phi naught approximately equal to 80 to 85 80 to 85 and the power factor value equal cos phi naught equal this is the 0.1 lagging power factor 0.1 lagging power factor okay so just observe here so these are the comparisons between the transformer and the induction motor the remaining factors almost all are same the remaining factors are almost same these are the comparison between the transformer and induction motor okay here finally the no load power factor of transformer is somewhat better compare with the no load power factor of the induction motor induction motor next now we will enter into the equivalent circuit of the stator just look at the equivalent circuit of the stator so generally again you know that the three phase induction motor is like this three phase induction motor has sub stator and with that we have some supply so this is the rotor wheel rotates for the stator for the stator we are giving the supply for the stator we are giving the supply the input supply is three phase ac supply that means we are giving the voltage so the stator voltage is v1 and stator itself this is the stator itself windings winding consisting of the resistance that winding is represents with the r1 and winding stator have the leakage reactance represents with the x1 and separately we have some no load branch that no load branch having the resistance r0 and the x0 and the emf generated in the primary winding is represents with the e1 the emf generated is e1 and the current entering supply current entering from the supply is take it as i1 and for the no load branch the current will be i0 and the current will be entering into the stator winding is i1 dash stator winding is the i1 dash so this is about the equivalent circuit of the stator equivalent circuit of the stator just write the things first what is r1 r1 is stator resistance for phase state or resistance per phase next what about x1 state or leakage reactance for phase leakage reactance for phase these are all the phase values so r naught is the core loss component core loss component 
here x0 is the x0 or xm we can consider anything x0 is the magnetizing reactance magnetizing reactance for phase when it is operating at the no load winding has some core loss that will be represented into i naught square into r and this is the leakage reactance okay right so what about e1 e1 here induced emf state r winding for phase induced emf in state r winding for phase state r winding for phase okay yeah what about v1 you know the v1 is the supply voltage v1 is the supply voltage so this is about the equivalent circuit of the rotor state r and next we will discuss equivalent circuit of the rotor and complete equivalent circuit so this is about the comparison between the transformer and induction motor and this is the comparison and this is first the equivalent circuit of the state r okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you